What up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing, lagging or freezing issue you're currently having with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really help me out and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. But without further ado, let's start right into the video. So the first step you want to do is going to be to go to your launcher. So for me it's Steam. You're going to drag it into the middle of your desktop. You're going to take it, right click it. And afterwards you're going to click run as an administrator. This will cause your launcher to pop up and store it and I want you to launch your game in the launcher and probably this will fix your issue. If this doesn't work, you're gonna take the, uh, the launcher again or the shortcut, you're gonna right click it. You're gonna go down to the very bottom where it says properties, you're gonna hit like left click it. So this tab pops up and what I want you to do next is gonna be to navigate right onto com compatibility, so click that. And now I want you to simply copy my settings, so let's quickly run through it. The first thing you want to do is going to be to go to compatibility mode, and you're going to enable run this program in compatibility mode 4, and you're going to select the latest Windows version you have to. You're going to disable reduce color mode, disable run in 640x480 screen resolution, disable full screen optimizations, and enable run this program as an administrator, obviously disable register the program for the restart and afterwards you're going to hit apply and OK. The thing you're going to do for that is uh, you're going to restart your PC and afterwards you're going to see this administrator symbol right on it and you, this will probably start every time you launch your with as an administrator. So this will help you um, to reduce your error or your crashing issues. Afterwards, you're going to do the same thing for your game. So take your game shortcut, you're going to right, uh, right click it and copy the same thing again. So do the same things. Or compatibility mode and obviously restart your PC afterwards. So this was just the first step. The next step is going to be to simply go down to the bottom of your screen where you're going to see the taskbar. You're going to right click it, hit right click, task manager and as you can see you're going to see every single program which is currently running. So what I want you to do is going to be to uh, go to processes. So go to the top left corner of your screen and click into processes. Once you're the processes, you're going to see CPU usage, memory usage, this GPU network, whatever. And the first thing I want you to do is going to be to end every single task which is currently having too much GPU or CPU usage uh, by simply, you're going to see them as, as well. So especially the apps, not the background processes. But if there's any background process which too, with, uh, which too much CPU GPU usage, you're going to also end this. So you're going to right click it. For example, for me it's Photoshop, I don't know. Right click it. Go down to end task and this will end your task. So this you're going to repeat that for every single program which has too much CPU usage. You see this uh, like darker yellow or it just could also be a, a red and you're going to end them. So the next thing you're going to do is going to be to go to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click on to details. Once you're the details, um, you're going to search for your game. I've currently not started it, but anyways, it doesn't really matter. Just do the same thing, which I'm doing to Adobe Premiere Pro. So for, for the game, so you're going to right click it. You're going to hit set priority. And as you can see, it's normal. I want you to click onto high or real time. You need to just check which is working better. Uh, you're going to hit that, hit apply, and you can afterwards just exit. Next thing you're going to do is going to go again to the top left corner of your screen, click on the startup. And now I want you, as you can see, I've disabled nearly everything. So I want you to disable every single program, which is auto storing in the background, uh, just to decrease your C GPU or CPU usage, uh, which you don't really need for that. So you're going to basically, you see Adobe Updater Startup, you're going to disable it by just right clicking it and click on the disable. You're going to do the, uh, that to every single program, which is currently running and you don't really need. So we're finished at the task manager, so we're going to end that. Afterwards, I want you to, to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto the window settings, hit settings. And then I want you to click right onto system. Uh, where I want you to basically um, just identify your main monitor. Afterwards, you go down. You're going to change the scale and layer to 100% as recommended. The display resolution should be the same as in-game just to decrease your crashing issue. And afterwards, I want you to click onto power and sleep, uh, go to additional power settings. 
and now you need to basically um try which is working better for you for me it's balance but sometimes it's high performance so you're gonna click on the high performance or the balance and just try which is currently working better with your program other thing is obviously storage click on storage click on to configure storage sensor run it now um here i want you to click on to clean now i won't do that because it takes a little bit so if you're gonna click on clean now and it will just clean every single trash file which is currently on your pc go back um afterwards i want you to go back once so now i want you to click onto gaming once you're at the game you're going to see xbox game bar and obviously turn this off you don't need that it will just suck performance you don't need that at all so just turn it off and uh sometimes it could also be useful for people who uh has have another uh system so try it out but generally i would just take this off captures go there and obviously this needs to be off because obviously if you have um something running in the background it could also cr uh, cause crashes mid game or can't even start the game or have uh, fps stuttering issues so just keep this really keep this off you don't need that afterwards hit game mode same thing again for some people it works better with game mode on for other people it works with game mode off so just try this out now i want you to go back to your main settings and click on to update and security well, I want you to stick around Windows Update. And here I want you, as you can see, it's last check today, and I have the latest version of Windows, but I really, really want to recommend you that you need to check your Windows for updates. Because this will increase your power of your system, and this will help you a lot with uh, like every single issue you're currently having. So I want you to check for your updates, update to your latest Windows version, and yeah, that should be it. Now I want you to go down to Troubleshoot. And uh, you can basically use your own system to search for data, which is currently not working, and just try to troubleshoot. Sometimes it will find something, sometimes it won't. So just try it out. Afterwards, I want you to end this task. Now I want you to basically go to your driver's app or application at all. And I want you to update your graphics card to the latest version because as the same as the Windows thing, you need to take care of your drivers and take them updated because sometimes games won't work with the older version of your drivers um and yeah so you need to just keep it updated at all the next thing i want you to do is basically to right click on your desktop and if you have nvidia you need to click on nvidia a control panel if you have another graphics card you need to click on something else so click on that it will take quite a while so once this is started up, I will probably run the 3D settings. So navigate to the top left corner of your screen. You're going to click on to uh, 3D settings, go to adjust image settings with preview. And as you can see, um, there is a bar which says quality to performance. And so for me, it's working well with quality because my PC is working well. But if yours isn't and you have problems with crashing or something like that, I want you to take this bar and take it right back to performance because this will just help you a lot with the crashing issues. Afterwards, I want you to go to the top left corner again, click on the display, click on the change resolution. And now it's the same thing again. So I want you to basically uh, try out different resolutions and you need to check that your monitor's resolution is the same as the in-game resolution. Because if there is anything running wrong, it will probably ca uh, cause crashing. So just try check for that. So once you're finished with that, I would personally just recommend every time at all, just restart your PC, check for updates when you're just restarting it. You can see there, is, there isn't anything. So restart your PC. And once you finish, just start your game over the launcher once and start your game just over the shortcut twice and try it out. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope that I could really help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my channel. It would really make my day and help me out.